The question a lot of Wuthering Waves fans have right now is when is the release date of this game going to come out? Now, for those of you who don't know, Wuthering Waves did a closed beta test which ended on the 12th of May 2023 and ever since then we haven't really gotten any information about either a closed beta test or any tests at all. But in their defense they have done a few updates they were at g star 2023 where they showed off a new build of the game so we got to see some new animations some new tweaks to the game but the remaining looming question is when is the next cbt or when is release date of the game let's talk about that also welcome to the last video of 2023 and i wish you a happy new year in advance for those of you who don't have the patience to actually watch the entire video, here's a TLDR of everything I'm going to talk about. For the next closed beta test, I'm expecting that to be announced either January or February of next year. And as for the full release of the game, I'm expecting that to happen around the middle of 2024. If you want to know why, stick around for the rest of the video. And by the way, today, the day that this video is coming out, which is the 29th of December 2023, Wuthering Waves is actually conducting a beta test in China. But this beta test is actually restricted by NDA, which means that no one is allowed to show footage of anything that they see in the game. So if you see any footage of the beta, just know that that is leaks. Until next year, you're most probably not going to get any information about a closed beta test, at least official information about a closed beta test. I'll start with why I'm most confident in the fact that we're going to get the full release by next year. On the 26th of October 2023, Wuthering Ways finally got their license to actually publish the game in China. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you get this license, you have a year, that's a grace period of a year, to launch the full game. If not, you have to reapply for the license. Now, because of this, that means that between 26th of October 2023 to 26th of October, 2024 is the most likely release date for the game unless there are hitches if there are hitches then we'll probably see it in 2025 but another reason why i'm very confident that we're not going to see a release in 2025 is because of grand theft auto 6. now for those of you who don't know and by the way if you don't know you're probably living under a rock grand theft auto 6 is slated to come out in 2025 and I personally do not believe that any sane developer, especially the small ones like Kuro, compared... And by the way, when I call Kuro small, I'm saying in relative terms to Rockstar game. Any sane developer is not going to try to compete with Grand Theft Auto V in 2025. Grand Theft Auto VI is one of the most anticipated games of all time. It will cannibalize sales of other games if you're not careful. Now, probably you could argue that because of the appeal of cute anime girls, Wuthering Wave stands a chance. And since they are not technically in the same space, we can probably get through it. But I personally do not believe that that is possible. Wuthering Waves is going to be a casual game. Now, a large majority of the people who are anticipating this game are PGR lovers, which means that they are more hardcore players. The more casual players don't have undying loyalty to this game. They can be swayed around very, very easily. And if Wuthering Waves releases in 2025, there is a very likely chance that it will be overlooked because of Grand Theft Auto V, and that might actually affect its success in the long term. These are just my thoughts on the issue. So let's now talk about when we're expecting the next CBT to happen. Yesterday, being the 28th of December 2023, we actually got a Facebook post from Wuthering Waves telling us that they were going to be at the next Tokyo Game Show. Now, Tokyo Game Show is going to be happening from around the 25th of January 2024 to the 29th of January 2024. And they were giving us the ability to participate in a little event where we share the post and then we'll be able to probably get a day one pass into Tokyo Game Show. Now, based on this information, it is very, very likely that we're going to see an announcement of the next CBT beta. Even if we don't see an announcement, we'll start to see a lot more aggressive marketing. We'll start to see new characters. We'll see the new build. We'll get a new official trailer, all that kind of thing. Now, personally, I'm skeptical about whether we'll get a new announcement of a beta in TGS. Now, if we look back through history, anytime they 
anytime it comes to TGS, they've never really announced a beta. CBT1 was not announced at TGS. The technical test was not announced at TGS. So because of that, I find it very unlikely that we're going to see a beta test announcement at TGS. But it is a possibility and I have it at the back of my mind. And don't worry, if you're scared that you'll miss out on the information, just follow me on Twitter or subscribe to the channel or do both and I'll update you when the announcement is made if it's actually made but it's better you follow me on twitter because that's when i can give you real life updates if you have to wait for youtube then i have to edit the video and all of that and yada 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 so why am i then confident about the game coming out around middle of next year to be very honest i'm actually not confident in that let me give a little bit of context normally for most chinese games they normally have a release cycle of a technical test two closed beta tests one open beta test which lasts for a very very long time and then the global launch now the technical test is normally the shortest followed by the first closed beta test which is normally a little bit longer than the technical test then there's cbt2 which is now very very close to the final product so that one runs for a little longer after that we normally get an open beta test now this one is optional i think i've seen some games that don't actually do an open beta test they just go from cbt2 into the global launch now if Wuthering wave is going to do an open beta test i believe personally that then the launch date will probably be around late 2024 but if they decide not to do an open beta test then it's very very likely that we are going to see a middle of next year release why is that if we get an announcement for the beta test at tgs i'm speculating that that test will run for about a month to two months and then within that time we'll be able to give feedback and then the devs will be able to work with that and then they'll be able to work on the game and then by around the middle of next year june july august that's when i believe they're actually going to launch the game now if they do an open beta test that means that it's probably going to extend to around november december now november december is normally a bad time to publish a game because that's close to holiday time and a lot of discounts and all of that are happening and people aren't really thinking about getting games they're thinking about gifts to get their children gifts to get their family all that kind of a thing so i personally believe that we have from june to around october within that time frame which is around middle of next year to very very close to the ending of next year for the final full release of the game but this is just the theory on my part so all we'll just have to do is wait and see by next year at tgs we will know for sure whether my theories are right or not so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates and also if you have and also if you haven't registered for updates on the game on the Wuthering Waves website make sure you use the link down in the description to go to the Wuthering Waves website sign up for updates on the game now bear in mind that when you sign up you're not signing up for a closed beta test when the time for a closed beta test comes you will be given instructions on that and i'll make a video to show you how to register for the closed beta test for now all you're just doing is trying to get updates for the game because they will from time to time send you updates in your mail telling you there's going to be a beta at this time or you're going to do this or there's an event that's happening or something else like that and with that said I'm actually curious as to what you guys think. When do you think the closed beta test is going to come? That's closed beta test 2. And when do you think the global launch is going to happen? And also, do you think they're going to do an open beta test where everyone is allowed to play and play test the game and do all of that? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for Wuthering Waves and Project Mugen updates. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.